Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim Special Edition Survival. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, uh, well, we had just gotten out of Bleak Falls Barrow with, uh, everything involved there, and still carrying a heavy amount of disease. But hopefully, we will find the ingredients to make a cure disease potion and I won't have to deal with dying the sooner you find the claw the sooner our lives can get back to normal well about that uh, I do have it but I want to talk to you oh, a little a bit, bit about this and a bit of ingredients that. you might be holding on to you are not holding on to any okay well so much for that I'll sell some of the shit I don't need could disenchant that. I probably should hold on to that. I should hold on to these. Um, this I don't need to hold on to, but then again, I could sell it. Ooh. Or I could just break it down for the enchantment. Tempting. This I could break down for the enchantment. Also tempting. These I'm going to break down for their base components, eventually. And... Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Um, this looks cool, but don't need that. This also looks cool, but don't need that. This looks very cool, to the point that I want to keep it. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need this. Don't need this. And don't need this. Okay, we're good. We're good for now. Um, Ingredients-wise, really the only thing that I have that's going to cure disease is the mud crab chitin right now. And I got to hope for charred skeever hide at some point. When I get that, I'll be fine. But uh, till then, I mess so well. <laughs> But I have the golden claw. You found it. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. I know, Strange. right? Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? Yeah, well. I'm going to put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. Mm -hmm. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Well, glad I could help. And I like the money. Money is nice. Where are you going? I guess going outside, losing his hair. Nice to see that bug's still there. Alright, and... He disappeared. Okay, cool. Well, anyway. Uh... Going to... Do the smelting, like I said. I was going to do. There we go. Ooh. Do all that for the corundum. Or, that'd be nice. Um, do that with iron ore here, at for now. Uh, the axes, maces, and the great sword. Steel sword and steel mace, there we go. Already at 25, beautiful. This is going to be a little thing. I'm going to do a little chopping wood because there is another bonus thing I can do. We have the camping uh, creative, uh, creative club mod as well. And all I would need is some extra leather, which I got. But uh, I could also make an extra pouch with that. Uh, which is more useful. The camping supplies, which I can't even make right now, because I need three. God. Balls. That's on me. I, th I thought it was two, not three. Uh. 
you know what? You know what? What do I currently have? Side left. Okay, we're gonna make side right. Gonna make side right and up my ability to hold things just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. And with that, we are good for a little while. And we'll probably pick up more leather later. But... Wait, what, wait are we at right now? 257. We're getting a little closer to that uh, line of no uh, no more walkie good. Ugh. Okay. Hopefully we get a house to deal with some of my buildup of shit. Alright. One. And here's two to make four firewood. And that brings us up to six. So I can make two of them when I get more leather. But that will be later. Right now, we run to White Run. Whee! Oh, jeez, that stamina fucking... <laughs> Taking 50% longer to recharge. God damn. It's, it's going to be the worst part. The worst part of the whole thing will be that. And we're currently needing sleep, aren't we? Yeah, we're needing sleep. Doug, damn it, damn it. Owner of the Dimsdale, damn it, damn it. Okay. Welp. This is going to be a problem. <laughs> Just a wee bit. Just the weeest of bits. But here's hoping. Oh, poor Webby. Here's hoping we get to deal with that soon enough. I have healing spells on. Why do I have healing spells on? Okay, do the hunting bow thing at least. Okay. Gonna wander down. Ooh, is that Maik? Hey, it's Maik. Oh, I love. Maik wishes you well. Hey, Maik. Nord's armor has lots of fur. This sometimes makes my eek nervous. <laughs> I bet. Some say Alduin is a Katosh. Some say my eek is a liar. Don't you believe either of those things? I mean... I could. My eek was sold trapped once. Not very pleasant. You should think about that once in a while. I mean, I could think about that, or... I could just ignore that that is a thing and uh, go about my merry way. Ah! <laughs> oh, that hurt. And here is Giant Fight. Going to help them a little bit. There we go. Two arrows ought to do it. And they will register as me helping, even though I kind of didn't really help all that much. And there we go. Give my health a little bit. Oh, I'm now famished. Ooh, no good. Oh, that venison stew. Still peckish. God damn it. Shit. I was hoping to get satisfied, but it's not helping. God damn it. Okay. You handle yourself well. Yeah. You make for a decent shield, brother. Yeah, I handle myself well from several hundred feet away. <laughs> What's a shield, brother? An outsider, eh? Yeah. Have you heard of the companions? An order no. of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. Oh. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Do you now? Can I join you? Not for me to say. 
You'll have to talk mm. to Codlack Whitemane up in your Vascar. Okay. The old man's got a good sense for people. Mm. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Will do. And thank you for that. All right, let's look at you. Get my arrows back. I've been getting so lucky in being able to get my arrows back. So lucky. It is a stupid amount of luck I'm dealing with right now. Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> at all. I prefer it. Okay, um... I was about to say, I was going to... Do this in a certain way. But, uh... Unfortunately, the Pelagia farm layout is a little bit wonky. Just a wee bit. So, I guess we'll start from here. Just do a little absconding. They won't mind. It's not like they're going to miss out on anything anyway. Yeah, not too much. And there we go. Good enough for me. Didn't need all of it, just some of it. Thank you very much, Pelagia. I do appreciate the help. As inadvertent as it may be. Oops, I need to pick that up. By Ismir, it's true. A jester, funny suit and all, just north by the Loria's farm. Fool had a coffin and a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, sounds like you've had quite the journey, Uthka. But you were gone longer than usual. I got to thinking maybe you weren't coming back. You sound like my ma. Figured I was lying dead in a field somewhere, is that it? Thought did cross my mind, yeah. War brewing, talk of a riot in Helgen, that Mount Jester's? Skyrim's gone mad, girl. You need to be careful out there. Careful, huh? Thanks, Skaldar. I'll remember that. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's a, uh, in vanilla, you would not catch that little, uh, exchange at all. That's one of the side benefits of the, uh, immersive citizens mod is that you actually hear conversations that were meant to be in the game and uh, they just weren't included due to either the pathing of citizens being difficult or what have you. Uh, they cut it for whatever reason and uh, the immersive citizens allows it to be put back in. So some of it you that's usually brand new to people is uh, reintroduced into the game. It's kind of nice. I, that's why I love the mod. So. You sound tough. Think you can go blade to blade with me? You'd be dead in six seconds. Oh. Okay. You think you can take me on? And why not? I could beat anyone in this city. Barehanded. Oh, yeah? A hundred gold says I knock your hide to the ground. Okay. You're on. Just fists. No weapons, no magic, mm -hmm. no crying. Yeah, of course. Let's go. All right. Come on. Whoop. Oh, geez. Let's see what right. you're made of. Do there we go. Work. How's that? Whoop. Okay. Oh, geez. I'm chilly now. There you go. Down you go. I did some jukes and jives. And I'm very impressed with myself. What I'm saying. My hands down. Now that's what I call a punch. You got me. Yeah, I did. I think I earned it. You're no liar. Best fight I've had in years. There you are. Thank if you. If you ever need another blade at your side, just ask. Mm. Wouldn't mind seeing how you handle a few trolls. Fair enough. I do appreciate that. I am now hungry. Man, hunger just blows right through you, don't it? All right, how much money do I got? Not enough. Justify using the fucking shrine. 
minutes. Damn it. Duh, damn it. Damn it. Oh no, the damn is damn. Damn it. Damn. All right. Because there's not a lot of options that I have. Hold. Ooh. City's closed with the dragons about. Uh huh. Official business only. Well, what if it's official business about dealing with the dragon attack? Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Thank you. I appreciate it. that you're willing to keep an eye on me. All right. We'll pay yeah, whatever I'm it takes, warm. but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. Mm -hmm. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Okay. Well, that's the thing. Also, I realize it is now nighttime. <sighs> Which is not the ideal time that I had hoped to come in. But uh, it is what it is. Grr. I can't go in there. Ah. Ah. Alright. Well. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Well, here's hoping. Uh. They say the college has been snooping around Sarthal. Mm. Mages in a burial crypt. No good can come of that. Probably not. Uh, I'd like to rent a room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. All right. Uh, I have firework. Just uh, firework. Fireworks. <laughs> Fireworks in Skyrim. That'd be something. Firewood. Honest gold for honest work. I was hoping it would cover the cost of the room. Not I'll really. Show you to your room. Right this way. Okay. In here? There's my room. No, no, this is my room. The fuck, girl. Oh, there you go. Up here. In here, you mean? Ah, that's where. Okay. Well, I'll sleep for seven hours. Sounds good to me. We'll get all these fucking upgrades going. So, health, stamina. Next one would be magic after that. Um, multiple perks. Hmm. Let's put this one in light armor, because that's what we're going to be running. What else? Since alchemy will be getting used heavily, might as well do that. Okay, beautiful. I wake feeling well rested. Yay! Let me know if there's anything else you need. Ah, uh, not in particular. Not yet. Can't say I would need more than that. And well rested, I forget. What was that? Uh. All skills. In oh, so that's still the same. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Well. Uh, time to get out of here. Oh, they leave at the same time, too. How about that? And we're going to go in our Kitty's Cauldron. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. I probably will. If not, will. let me know. I might have it stored away. Sounds good. How do you feel? I think you might be sick. You are absolutely correct. Uh, what do you got for sale? So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Namely the ingredients, but yes. All right. 
ingredients, 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 ingredients. Fuck, I'm not seeing. Fuck, I'm not seeing stuff I need. God damn it. Mm. I was hoping for charred anything, but I'll take. <gasps> I'll take that. 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 I'll take that right now. Thank you. I'll sell this as well. Uh, that and that and that. Because I absolutely don't need any of those. How many uh, river beddies did I end up getting? Five. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. Could have been far worse. Um, troll fat. Don't really need that. Okay. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Well, I already got the remedy I need. Thank you very much. <sighs> and that gets rid of everything. <sighs> Beautiful. Just beautiful. Alright, so I just gotta deal with how hungry I am, and boy howdy, am I hangry. Girl, you don't have cooking spit. Whoop! Didn't mean to do that, sorry. Have a cooking remedies for ailments both common and rare. Do let me know if I can be of service. Uh there's a cooking spit. Nah, I'm making, I'm making your, uh, you're making your stuff as service to me, is what I'm doing. Uh, son of a bitch. I need tomatoes. Tomatoes. <sighs> oh, hi. <laughs> it probably looked bad what I just did, so uh, I'm gonna go. Bye. Keep doing that. I keep going for the wrong door. There we go. You know nothing. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing. Um. And what of my son? Hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? Still warm the so office. don't He's talk to me about suffering. What brings you hmm. to the market? Your son chose his I'm side and he chose him. poorly. And now he's gone. Such is the that. way of war. The sooner Only you accept his loss, the better. Advantage. I will never I accept his death. My son still lives. I feel it in my heart. So tell me, Battleborns, where is he? Where are you holding my forehead? <laughs> Do you believe this old hag? Oh, come on. There's no need for that. Holding him? Why, I've got him in my cellar. He's my prisoner. Oh, come on. Face it, Count. Your stupid son is dead. He died a storm cloak traitor. And you, you best keep your mouth shut before you suffer the same. Jesus, come on. Come on. There's nothing more to be said here. Hmm. These fruits and vegetables are disappointing, Carlotta. I get them fresh from the farms daily, Nazim. If you were getting them from my farm, they'd be twice as fresh. Bullshit. You are full of shit. Fresh baked loaves. Still warm from the oven. Oh, yeah? Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me. But that bard is the worst. Oh? Someone giving you trouble? That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat, the way he goes on about me. Oh. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. <laughs> Whoa. Bruh. That's fucked up. What if I talk to him? If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. Oh, something will get through it. If it's my fist or something else, something will get through it. Remember, fresh fruit and vegetables every day. Mostly. Yeah, no worries. Okay, well, wherever his ass is at. I, ew, sorry, yawning. I'm a little sleepy. I'm gonna beat his ass either way. The other day were delicious, aren't they? I always set some aside for myself when the traders bring them up from the south. 
I'm sure you could charge double for those and still sell them all within a week. You're right. I'll have to remember that the next time I get a shipment in. Well, there you go. There's that. Mikael might be up at the... Uh, up at there, maybe. At least that's where getting pointed. Then again, could be incorrect. Talk to the Earl of White Wait, what? Uh, that was what the problem was. That explains that. Okay. So it is going back this way and into the inn. Okay. There we go. And we're going to deal with Mikhail. Hey! If it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. Uh huh. Once Mikhail gets them, they're got. Uh huh. You need to leave her alone. Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? Yeah, because you're I'm being sorry, a freako. But that fiery widow is mine. Come on, she man. She just doesn't know it yet. Come on, man. She's not yours. Stop the nonsense. What did you just say? All I heard was a sound of jealousy. I am going to have to beat some sense you. into you, ain't I? Come on, let's see what you're made of. Oh, yeah? What I'm made of? Let's see what you're made of. Stupid idiot. Down. You go. Bitch. You're right, he isn't that tough. Come on, get up. Get the fuck up. Don't let him you get know how to throw a punch, I'll give you that. Damn right I do. You're gonna leave her alone or this gets worse. You win. On my honor, Carlotta won't have to worry about me ever again. Good. Quit being a fucking freako. God damn it, idiot. Alright. Some men, god damn, some men just cannot take no for an answer. You gotta beat the no into their fucking face. Ripe fruit and fresh vegetables for sale. Straight from the fields and orchards of White Run to your table. I like that sale line. I like it. Keep it up. Uh, Mikael won't be bothering you anymore. I don't know how to pronounce his name right. Fuck it. Fuck him. Uh, he doesn't deserve to have his name pronounced right. Really? You convinced that loot player to stop chasing me? Yeah. I'd thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. I mean... Here's some coin for your help. Here's that. Ooh, 250. Thank you. Remember, fresh fruit and vegetables every day. Yep. I'm sure they would love to trade you. Meh, that's fine. Plenty of people here to feed your unstrapped snitchers, my dear. Ooh. We've never had Spare any reason to deal with those caravans of theirs. Fresh baked loaves. Mm. Still warm and uh, because of that, I can uh, get away with taking some tomatoes, which is kind of why I did that as well, among other things. Okay, so we go back into the inn, make some food, because now I can make that vegetable soup with those tomatoes. And with that, I should be good for a good long while. Oops, if I go to the right fucking thing. There we go. Vegetable soup. Beautiful. Wish tomatoes was a little bit easier to obtain, but it is what it is. Two, and we'll be good. Well fed. Beautiful. All I was hoping for. Um, since... So when? What will it be tonight, huh? Something upbeat? A Breton jig, maybe? Well, I was thinking maybe something more than a high elf girl, perhaps. These are rather trying times after all. You trying to scare off my customers, son? Lively. Keep it lively. All right, all right. Um, how about the gutter snipe? I think seven siftings for Seagirt would do nicely, especially when they're in the cocks. Ah! Excellent suggestion. I'll do that one then. Okay, well, at least they're figuring out what they're going to be doing when the uh, customers are drinking and um, getting happy, I guess. Alright, we're going to get more salt. I might as well get more carrots. And more potatoes. Oh, more potatoes is always good. 
didn't expect that the inn would let me take some food. That's new, but I'll take it. Because any way I can keep food coming is a good idea. There we go. There we go. And... Because I have plenty of salmon meat and just need salt. Oh, hi. How's it going? If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? I could do that. Need anything else? Just let me know. Will do. Right now, what I need is salt. And a couple leeks. I'll take that. And the raw beef. Don't need the meat. Just need salt. Yes, carp. Didn't expect that. Don't need that meat. I can always catch more salmon. That is not a problem in the slightest. I can guarantee it's the salt that'll be a problem. Cyrodiilic spade tail. Huh? There we go. Got the salt. We're good. Yeah. Catching salmon is not a problem. Trust me when I say that. It's not a problem. A salmon steak. There we go. Use those two more leeks to get a little more food going, and we're good. Is there anything more I can take from out of here while I'm here? Since I can take things. Apparently. I can get horse hide. That's fine by me. Fine by me. As long as it allows me to do it. Why it's doing that, I don't know. Thief of virtue, huh? And it's hid under the bed. That's, um... That's a thing. That is definitely a thing. Huh. I guess I can take the gold purse as well. Jesus. I don't know why I'm <laughs> being allowed to do everything I am. But I'm going to exploit it as long as it'll let me. Okay, um, I don't need red apples. I'll take all this, though. Don't need the black robes. At least not currently. Fall from glory, huh? Uh, oh, Thieves' Guild. Yeah, <laughs> fall from glory, uh-huh. The glory of the Thieves' Guild. Yep, uh, totally. Totally believable, uh-huh. Yep. It's sliced. Not something I need. And this is... There we go. I was about to say, these look like potatoes, but they're just green apples. Uh, there we go. Take all of that. And I'll get out of here. There we go. Like I said, didn't expect any of that to be exploitable at all. But I will take it. Alright. Now we head up to the keep. Or I know your family's honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thieves den. I can't stop now. And I can't get the sword on my own. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't starve. I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. Oh. Sapir! Wait, I... Well. Let's give the man a hand, huh? Hey, what's up? You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Well, I might be doing some of that in a little bit. What were you two arguing about? My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. Mm -hmm. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. You can blame you. Do you need help finding it? 
I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. But I'm no fool. I'd need the White Run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. No problem, because I am just the fool you're looking for. If you find that sword, please bring it to me. Yeah, that 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 seemed better in my head. Anyway, uh, we're gonna move on. She says that while her dad is literally walking right past her. Jesus. Just don't hit me. Ten septums tomorrow, baby battleborn. I'm gonna bloody your nose and your lip. Jeez, girl. You're learning things from your mother. It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. Oh yeah? What what does a kid usually do do for fun around here? Well, I used to sneak out at night and try to tip over the big ox in the Grey Mane's yard. <laughs> and me and Mila used to climb up on the roof of Dragon's Reach and look for bird's eggs. Oh, yeah? But I don't do that stuff anymore. Father keeps catching me, and then I get in trouble. Well, yeah, of course. Like, being up on roofs to fucking steal bird's eggs. Mm -hmm. that, that's a quick way to get yourself, you know, accidentally killed accidentally not alive oopsie poopsie <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I lost the plot halfway through <laughs> but I think we got the point across <laughs> alright in we go haha how many coins do I have right now? Well, I'm at 2,400. That is significantly more than I thought I'd be at. So, okay. I call it a win. I only counsel caution. We cannot afford to act rashly in times like these. Uh-huh. If the news from Helgen is true, well, there's no telling what it means. Okay, didn't expect the humming. What would you have me do then? What's the Nothing? meaning of this interruption? Y'all, Balgraf is not receiving is visitors. Also, she is wearing that due to a mod. Usually, she's not going to be wearing that particular set. But, since I also have the DLC for... Uh, da -da -da. Solstheim, apparently she's wearing that now. It's a thing. Uh, I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Mm -hmm. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Alright, sounds good to me. So, you were at Helgen. Mm -hmm. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Yeah, I had a great view while the Imperials were trying to cut off my head. Really? Yeah. You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. Yeah, I just crossed a border and they of my branded me a criminal who needs to, to die. Execute, especially now. What I want to know is what exactly happened at Helgen? Yeah. Uh, the Imperials were about to execute Ulfric Stormcloak and then the dragon attack. Hmm. I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. Of course. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger if that dragon is lurking in the mountains. The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small hey. token of my esteem. Leather armor, okay. There is another thing you could do for me. Oh. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, Provincius, perhaps. Okay. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and 
rumors of dragons. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking you to defy the Yarl, just to open his eyes. Use subtlety and suggestion to turn his thoughts to the war. You're his steward. He'll listen to you. Leave me out of your intrigues, Rangar. If you have something to say to the Jarl, say it with your own tongue. Okay. I'm so angry, I can hardly stand it. Father promised me a new dress days ago. Now where is it? It takes a while to make a dress, Dagny. You have to be patient. But I don't want to be patient. I want my dress right now. Father promised. Okay. All you ever do is complain about what you want. You're a spoiled baby. I'm going to tell Father you said that. He'll tan your hide for sure. Okay. So his brother and his steward are arguing. His children are arguing. He don't have a real good hold of what his uh is a living situation in the uh <laughs> in the uh, Dragon's Reach area is you know he's just, he's, he's not really holding it down all that well. Yeah. Okay. Faringar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Yeah. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. Yeah, I'd appreciate it. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Okay. Uh, what does this have to do with dragons? Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, hmm. when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began hmm. to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? So, what do you need me to do? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Mm -hmm. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Yeah. And I already have this old stone. Is this it? Ah. The Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Hey! You already found it. Mm-hmm. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes the Jarl foists on me. I'm sure. So, what's next? That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. Fair enough. Well, we're nearing the end of the episode time, so gonna end the episode here for right now I'm gonna tag a couple of these things because of, you know might as well um yeah uh the voice actor for Faringar again I said it in the original playthrough and I'll say it again um the first couple of lines were kind of stilted a little bit but like the rest the rest of the performance was okay. So it makes me think that those were just kind of slapped together. And he didn't really get a lot of time to focus on those lines, I feel. Because the voice actor for him has done did multiple other characters in the game, obviously. Most of the voices are reused. Um, I, sh I shouldn't say it that way. Most of the voice actors are doing multiple different characters. And I don't know why those lines for Faringar were so bleh. Which makes me think that maybe they were just slapped together and it was just like, okay, we'll just get those recordings done, get them out, and like no one really cared. Um, it seems a little off. But anyway, that's me going off on a different tangent. Uh, we are now finally here in Whiterun, in Dragon's Reach, and we are going to 
help them deal with the dragons and the dragon that will be attacking in about five seconds uh, once I get out of this menu. But for right now, we're going to save and end the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments to bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games. And finally getting that disease cured thanks to all of the gods in the heavens. All eight of them. Or nine, depending on which you want to go with in Elder Scrolls. And uh, now we're just doing the main quest line. Which is kind of expected of us considering and then uh where we go next kind of up to me probably gonna do companions after that for a little while for you